guys, it's Tina and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my official first, first official fall makeup look. I'm really excited for fall, although summer is my most favorite time of the year. But I do love fall, I love the colors, the makeup that's trendy for fall and I love the outfit and the weather. Well, I do love fall. I just wish it was like six months summer, four months spring and two months fall. No winter, no need for winter, I don't need winter. I'm, I'm good with just fall. All the way I live, it's pretty much like that, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, fall is a wonderful time of the year and I love the makeup that's going on. Trendy for fall, I love the burgundy lip, the dark burgundy colors, the golds, the browns, but my two most favorite colors to, of eyeshadow to wear for fall are um, olive green and burgundy. So this look involves olive green and burgundy, only these are the only two colors that are main for this look so i decided to create a halo eye using those two colors so if you like how it turned out and you want to see how i created it then just keep on watching i'm starting by priming my lid with the smashbox 24 hour no yeah 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer applying that with my finger and i'm going to apply that all over my lid and up to the brow bone then first I'm going to apply a pencil, eye pencil, on the center of my lid and I'm using the Urban Decay 24 Glide On Eye, Glide on eye Pencil. What's going on today? The Urban Decay 2407 Glide On Eye Pencil in Freak. This is a gorgeous color. It's not showing on the waterline, so in case you were wonder wondering, it's not showing up at all if you apply it on the waterline, only if you do this but it's kind of a duochrome, it's really really nice. I'm going to apply that to the very center of my lid and up until the crease, but keep it only in the center, like this. And then I'm also going to apply a little bit under my lower lash line, only in the center as well, like this. Then I'm going to apply an eyeshadow on top of that. I'm going to use Meldew by Urban Decay. This is an old palette that I have, but um, they have this color in different palettes and I believe it's sold individually as well. And with a Sigma E55, I'm going to apply that on top of the Freak pencil and a little bit to the sides. So I'm going to blend that color outward a little bit off of where I applied the pencil as well. like this, but not covering all the lid entirely. Then I'm going to do the same on the lower lash line, apply it on top of the pencil and a little bit to the sides. Like this. Then I'm going to create a halo effect with a burgundy eyeshadow. So I'm going to use um, Sketch by MAC for this and a rounded crease brush and I'm going to apply that to the very outer corner of my eye first and blend it lightly into the green and then a little bit into the crease as well and I'm going to create kind of a rounded shape on this outer edge and take the color further up and outwards to extend the shadow a little bit off of my actual eyelid like this don't worry about it being too precise, we're going to blend it up later. And then I'm going to take the same color and apply it to the very inner corner of my eye. So that little space we left out without, um, with no eyeshadow, I'm just going to apply this sketch color onto there and then connect it with the crease above the green eyeshadow. That makes sense. A lot of you guys say that I explain really well and that you love how I explain that and I love getting this, those types of comments. I really love hearing that I explain well and that you guys understand what I'm talking about and that you find it helpful, my tutorials, but I just don't understand myself sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I don't make any sense, but if you guys find it helpful, that's so rewarding for me. Then I'm going to take um, the same color on a more precise brush, like the um, Short Shader E20 by Sigma. And I'm going to repeat that same step on the bottom lash line. So a little bit on the outer corner and connect it with the color that's on the outer edge, on the outer corner, on top of my eye. See, I don't know what I'm saying. 
and then a little bit on the inner corner of the eye under the lower lash line as well. So just on the sides of the green eyeshadow that's in the center. So outer corner and inner corner, same as we did on the upper lid. And then I'm going to blend out the edges with a clean E25 blending brush by Sigma. And for this, really take your time and blend out the outer corners. Don't take it too further down, um, too far down onto the actual eyeshadow, but keep the brush only on the outer corners, um, on the outer edges of the eyeshadow, just to blend it out and make it look smoother. And a little bit softer on the outer edge, so you won't have any harsh edges. So once you have that blended, we're going to move on to some highlight. I'm going to use um, a flat brush, this is the MAC 252 and Brulee by MAC, which is a kind of a neutral shade. I'm going to apply that under my eyebrow. And then also with that same shade, I'm going to clean out the outer corner underneath right here to make it a little bit more sharp. And then to highlight the inner corners, I'm going to take a small flat brush and nylon by MAC and apply that to the very inner corners of my eye. I'm also going to take the same shade just a little bit under the eyebrow, really close to the actual eyebrow, like this, just to add a pop of highlight right there as well. Then I'm going to line my waterline, but I'm not going to go for a black pencil. I want to keep more of a, I don't have any black eyeliner today. Actually, I have a burgundy purple color on the upper lid and then a green on the waterline. So for the green, I'm going to use Meldu um, 24 Glide On. Oh my God, this is a long name. The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Meldu, which is matching the color of the eyeshadow, which is also called Meldu by Urban Decay. And I'm going to use this pencil on my waterline. So this is not as harsh as a black pencil would be on the waterline, but it still really frames the eye and adds to this whole um, color scheme of the green and the burgundy. And I feel like it really makes everything come together, as well as the eyeliner that I'm now going to be using, which is by ColourPop, and this is their um, cream gel color, which is their gel liner, in the color Best O. And it's kind of a purple burgundy shade. This is really, really pretty. And I'm going to be using a really small, tiny, precise brush. This is the Mikaela Makeup Brushes in number 41. And I'm going to take this color to my upper lash line. And I'm creating a very thin line close to my lash line. All the way to the inner corner. And then I just make it a little bit thicker on the outer edge and then I wing it out on the outer corner. This brush really helps me be precise. And that's it. So you can see that this purple shade and the, the dark green on the um, waterline are still pretty dark that they really frame the eye but they're not too intense, they're not black and they're contributing to this whole color scheme. So we're keeping it all green and burgundy. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes a little bit and apply some mascara. No false lashes today. I wanted to keep the attention on, to, um, on the actual eyeshadow so I didn't want to block the view with some lashes. So I'm just going to keep it natural with the lashes at least today. I'm using the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara as always. And I'm going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to contour a little bit with the Ofra 3D um, Pyramid Egyptian Clay Bronzer. That's a long name. And I'm going to use this part right here with my Sigma F23 brush. So I'm taking a little bit of that, I'm going to take it just a little bit under my cheekbones. A little bit with what's left on the brush on the sides of my nose and on my temples as well. 
Then I'm going to use a blush that to me screams fall, which is the NARS Madly blush. It's not pink, not orange, it's really neutral and nice. I'm going to use the Sigma F40 blush brush and apply that. This blush goes with any look, any kind of look, just because it is that natural and kind of neutral color. That's what I want to say. Has a little bit of a peachy undertone, but it's mostly like a brownish, brownish peach. Peach. And then I'm going to highlight a little bit with the um, MAC Mineral Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and my Sigma, where is it? There it is, F03, yeah, F03 highlighting brush. And on my lips I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Brink first to outline my lips. And then I'm going to fill them in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Magic Wand, which looks like this. So that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you like how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below if you did and leave me any requests for more videos to come. I would love to hear your guys' opinions and suggestions. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on the way out and to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to talk to you all on Saturday. Bye.